Hey guys, I'm just um, trying an experiment here. I'm gonna try and scrape out my barn and put the bale feeder in here so I can trap my bulls so I can bring my new bull in. So I'm just gonna scrape and see where I get to. Uh, this is what I got so far I'm starting with and I'm just gonna try and scrape this clean and put the feeder in. But I already see my little friends over here think that I'm bringing in hay. So we'll see how far I get. So this is where I got to. One of the things that happens with the big tractor is it's very hard to turn around here. And if you look right, let's see if I can. Can you see that ramp? This is not gravel. This is not even freaking. There's nothing there other than dirt under here. So any manure here, you just sink, and then the ledge for the concrete starts right there. So it's difficult to turn that tractor around in here because it's so long. But it's a lot wetter in here than I anticipated. I guess the straw held the moisture under. But I couldn't do close to the barn. What I'll do is I'll kick this out by hand and then I'll just have one strip of it with the scraper and I'll put it right in. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, so my plan is here is I'll dry this out. And then once this is dried out, I can put the bale feeder in here. I think within a day, day or two, this will be dry. I'll put the bale feeder in here and then I should be able to get the bull in here because they're still eating hay. I said before that they weren't, but I got looking at the feeder and they seem to be pounding through it today. So don't know what the story is on that. But um, yeah. So that's the plan. I Because of my fencing, there isn't a lot of fencing here. There's no way to really restrict it. So when I want to get that bull out, I can't really do it. So I'm kind of thinking of, I thought about the ATV route, trying to round them up with ATVs, but they've never really seen an ATV. Don't really know how they'll react. Uh, I've watched other guys on YouTube using ATVs, so I figure maybe give it a try in the future. I don't have one now, but... I know a lot of guys love concrete and they put a lot of money into spending on concrete. And I'll tell you one thing, if you're feeding on it all over winter, I get it. It's, you don't sink in the spring, the fall, which is good. But one thing I hate about it is always slippery in between either winter, spring and fall. Any of those wet times, it's always slippery. Cattle slip all the freaking time. And uh, I don't like it. I, I feed it. I know I wrecked this little section of pasture and I'll probably get it so that I don't have a feeder like that. I'll have it on wheels. But I'll tell you one thing. I would way rather feed this and wreck this little section than have a cow fall because the vet bill is not worth it. Losing calves, getting damaged cattle, it ain't worth it. So I'm looking at one of those wagons, the feeder wagons where they go on and they uh, you throw them in and they got wheels and uh, that's where I'm looking towards to get to but I don't have enough cattle right now to A make it financially viable for that and uh, B if I throw four bales in that's enough for the week for these guys so if the herd gets bigger I think it'll make more sense and then I'll use that feeder for a bull or for my steer lot so the plan is is this is behind my barn um there's a ramp back here it hasn't been used in years and doesn't really work but i was kind of thinking here is i could sever this field into two and if you see where that feeder is roughly put a line across right where those trees are in there and then um i could sort in here and i could have two pat two fields so you could sort and have one gate that goes through it. Fence all this back in, all this back in, and have it so that you can sort in here. And I could have one section where the bull could be in, and then one section where the rest of them could be in. For um, for feeder, for my heifers that are growing as well as my steers that I'd be finishing for me. So that's what I'm looking at doing. I don't know how much it's going to cost me because I want to build it a little bit heavier because 
if there's steers and then there's bulls in it, I like to make sure that there's more wood posts than metal. Um, they get banging around, especially if there's a bull involved. I like the wood posts, they do last longer. So that's what I'm kind of thinking. But as you can see, like the lean on some of these posts are just huge. So I, uh, I gotta redo them. Uh, these T-bars, the old ones last a lot longer than the new ones, but anywhere other than that, anywhere other than a loading area where it's high stress, I'll gladly just run electric. But inside this area, I'd like to have it so that it's wood post, just so that it's hard and a little more durable. But thanks for listening to me ramble on a little bit about future plans. But uh, that's what I'm up to. That's what I'm dealing with today. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe as always. Keep farming. Keep having fun. And uh, can't wait to visit you guys again.